Okay guys, now it's time for another Toronto vlog on my YouTube channel, and today we're heading on over to the Toronto, not actually Toronto, it's the Ontario Science Centre. It's outside of the city of Toronto, probably around a, a 10 to 15 minute drive from where I am right now, I'm not going to say where the location is, but it's one of my favourite science museums that I've ever been to. Similar to the one that I've been to in London, but I'm really excited to go back to the Toronto um, Ontario Science Centre and see what is new, what has changed throughout these past three years, especially during the pandemic and going into lockdown. And I'm pretty sure we'll have some new exhibits somewhere around the area, around the Science Centre area. So yeah, I'd be happy to give you a little tour around my favourite science museum. So. Big thumbs up for that, and let's get started. And there's a lot of construction happening around here, and there's a new train system. Um, I don't even know what the new train system is all about, but there's been a lot of construction since we've been away for these past three years. Like this station, for example, is the Science Center, which means we're getting really close to the Ontario Science Center, which is just around the corner behind those gates over there. I can't wait to see what has become of this amazing science museum that I've missed going to for so long. Here we are. There's the science center along with its own IMAX theater. The size of a dome. First we better find a place to park and then go right inside. Okay, it looks like we're here, but it looks like we're the only ones here. This car park is empty. Can't wait to have the Ontario Science Center all to ourselves. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm messing with you. There's half the parking lot full and half of it empty. So now let's go inside properly this time. And here it is, the Ontario Science Center. And it has the name here in French on the right. I don't even know if I'm really good at French, but... Oh. Thank you, Granny. <sighs> that's that's a really big thermometer there. Of uh, forty degrees, uh, is it degrees or Fahrenheit? It's probably around six or five degrees Celsius at the moment. Would you check this out? There's this is so huge. Oh my god! You hear that rumbling sound in there? I don't know where it's coming from. I'm going in. Uh. Listening carefully. What happens to the sound? Oh my god. I can barely hear what? myself. I can hear an echo as well. Uh huh. There are quiet spots called nodes. What? A quiet spot is called a node. A node? N O D E S. Nodes. Nodes. Oh. Everywhere else, the air vibrates between the high and the low pressure. But 43 times every second. I can't believe I'm doing this from start to finish. It's like I'm going through a maze or something. Oh, my. Oh, this is messed up. That's much better. Okay, we're about to go in. Oh my god, look at the size of that plane. Oh my goodness, it's like one of those planes we see in the Second World War or something. This is where the magic happens with the Omnimax experience. It's an IMAX theater the size of a dome. And this is where they're playing their film. Like, it's 70 millimeter and 35 millimeter film. Uh, at the moment, they're playing a dinosaur uh, of the Antarctica documentary, but we're going to be here for the asteroid documentary narrated by Daisy Ridley from Star Wars. So this is the celebration way. Normally this is the way we enter the museum, but unfortunately we can't go past this point because it's under, yeah, it's under construction. So they put up a sign here that says bridge closed. And to visit ex ex exhibit halls, please take a shuttle box uh, bus to the rear entrance. But, it's also in French. And also in French. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah, bummer. I hate to walk all the way down to the ex exhibit and we'll probably, um, we'll probably take a bus. This is a view from the outside of the bridge. 
You can see the bridge here. Yeah. This is the part that they're reconstructing, which is why it's a bit awkward today because we have to shuttle bus oh. around because we can't. See, it's all over there, but we can't cross the bridge. <sighs> Bummer. But but this setting, the autumn setting, it looks beautiful. ATW, um, by the way. Oh, and we just saw a black squall. On on. Uh, bye bye squall. Okay, we're in the Omnimax IMAX theater. Again, it's the size of a dome, and we're, they're gonna play the asteroid documentary. But unfortunately, they're not gonna let us film past this point, so. I gotta turn this thing off, so I'll meet you guys on the way out, and, and we'll explore the rest of the science center from there. And we're heading on that shuttle bus down to the nearest entrance to the Ontario Science Center. As as I said, the bridge is closed due to construction, but I don't even know how long it's going to be constructed for. But here we are at the entrance, and let's go outside and see what the Ontario Science Center has in store for us. Sanders is it's raining out here. It's a good thing I got a raincoat. Well, we made it to the science center already. Have we already got our tickets? But I wonder where this entrance leads to. Probably to one of the exhibits that reminds me of my childhood and the past few visits. But let's see where it leads to. If you want to know the elements of the periodic table, here it is. The periodic table of the elements. I think there are around 92 elements on this table, and to think about it, you can think about more than 92 things, so maybe there's less than 92 now. I don't, I don't know why. Yeah! Let's go right past this hallway, right over here, and once we come out, we're in the Western Family Innovation Center. Let's see what there is. This looks new. It's like... It's like an actual aquarium, but it's made out of wool material. Wow, that, that that's an incredible piece of artwork there. This should be in a museum of some sort. Like, probably the Royal Ontario Museum back in Toronto. And, and those cotton jellyfish swimming up in the air and hanging on strings. They're incredible. And the same goes for the anemones. Look at this projection floor. When you walk across it, you interact with it. Um, like, for example, you just saw molten liquid rock from a volcano. Uh, what happens now? Oh! Light bulbs! Light bulbs everywhere! Oh, I'm surrounded by electricity! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm surrounded by electricity, but not anymore. This is the Western Family Innovation Center. Let's have a look and see what's around us. The Avro Arrow. It's a type of Canadian aircraft. Or probably a spaceship, I don't know. But uh, the, the description says it all. Uh, the Avro Arrow was to be Canada's first line of defense against Soviet bombers. Uh, the dream was to make was to make the jet intercept, intercept interceptor the fastest, most sophisticated fighter plane of its time. The Arrow made its successful maiden flight on March 25th, 1958. That's a long time. But now I'm seeing a model of this, a replica for the first time. Look at this. I'm like a little android version, a robot a fish. And it looks, uh, just don't feed the robots. Uh, we're not gonna feed the robots. It's just an invention. <laughs> and these are running on solar power. Like they, they're using energy from the sun or a light bulb. Like usually those solar panels. Yet yeah, everything gets energy from the sun and make it makes electricity with it. And the same thing it goes to the solar panels that surround us, like in gardens and everywhere we travel and so on. The same thing goes for satellites. Look at this. And you can see a view of the garden outside the center from the west uh, of the Western Innovation Center or whatever. And you can see one of nature's wildlife animals, like the black squirrels, uh, the squirrels in Canada, and different types of breeds of birds. And, and, I, and I could see one or two of them if eating from a bird feeder, like some bird seed. And the autumn colors are amazing, very colorful. And th there are even some wooden benches, wooden chairs right over there that no one is ever using. 
never thought nature would be so beautiful at this time of year, in autumn that is. Yeah, check this out. Uh, raise and lower the magnets. Control the top magnet with the lever and the bottom one by its handle. What happens to the liquid? Let's let's oh, the water let's is find it. Okay. I'm holding the handle slowly. Oh my God. To take shape slowly. Oh. Are you kidding me? Uh, the invisible magnetic field. Invisible magnetic field. That's in, that's insane right now. Oh my god. Hey, welcome to the Dynamo dance floor. This isn't just a dance floor, and I chose it this song by the way. I, I have no idea what this does. It isn't just any dance floor. It captures energy from your every move and turns it into electricity to power the floor lights, just like this. Do you not believe me? Why not give this a try if you haven't been to the Ontario Science Center? Oh my god! Oh my god, there's a twister in here! There's a twister! Normally we would run around in a circle uh, trying to stop a twister, but it's closed uh, due to you know what. Because of the you know how long it went on for. Listen to the sounds around you. What do you hear? Ready to experiment? Explore inside. Listen, look, where and why is it quietest? I'll give this a go. It's quiet. Wait. Is this me? Yes, it's me. And that's what's happening out there, right over here. I can see through security footage. Mute. Outside. In here. Out there. In here. It's really quiet. Let's make our way out. And we're back to normal. Oh, I like this one over here touch the sphere, this sphere. Try with my finger. Okay, I got a little bit of it. Let's just try my whole, let's try the whole hand. Oh my God, look at my hand. Oh my goodness. I'm moving along with it. Oh my, holy. That's insane, man. That's really insane. Oh my God, look at this mirror. Spaghettification. Uh, oh, oh. oh my god, look at what happened. Oh, it's crazy. Now the mirror is normal. <laughs> it's all an illusion. It's all an illusion. Okay, let's have a look at this mirror. Wait, where am I? Oh, there we am. Um, hello? Can you hear me? What kind of mirror is that? And what kind of mirror is that? Uh, I'm done. Uh, that was a crazy mirror. It, uh, it was a trick. Okay, so I think to finish off, I think we're gonna have a look around the living earth. Um, it's like a little aquarium, but for rainforest life. Uh, but right here, I'm looking at the Midland Patent Painted Turtle. I think there's two of them in there. I saw one swimming around somewhere. I don't know, but it's probably hiding. I don't even know where it is. But this is the one I could see at the moment. Uh, looking, staring right up into the light. Uh, the, the, the aquarium that, that these two live in, by the way, it looks wonderful. Not like the one, not like the aquarium that the dentist has in Finding Nemo. But it's a little bit too big. Oh, there it is, there it is. There it is. I think that gives me immense joy. Come on, you're gonna make it. You're gonna make it, little guy. Uh, you'll make it. Ah, uh, there you go. There you go. And there are lots of frogs and toads here as well. Like this one that I just spotted. That's the uh, the American toad. Yeah, it's the American toad. There's two of them right now. I think they're doing their thing at the moment right now. 
and they have their they have their water dish and they have their wildlife all over but you look at the teeth as seen in different animals like this here it's sea a seal a ringed seal and that skull it looks oh my god it looks it looks fake it's probably a web cut or probably dug out of the ground but let's see what happens when i touch these buttons at the wrong facts a fox i don't even know how to say that and there's the wrong fox it's still uh, I think the long fox is still the same thing. Meat chair and the meat chair. Oh, and there they are. I don't see a wisdom tooth anywhere. <laughs> yeah, there's fish poisons, and the fish have a lot of poison in them sometimes. And insects. Insects. Oh, they look so good. Um, they look too tiny. Wait, did I miss something? Um, no, I don't think I did. Yeah, they're all good. Now we're going into a rainforest, and I think it's a little loud in here due to the waterfall. It very much looks like a real rainforest, except this is a science center. This is a science center. Uh, it's beautiful plants as well, and those trees, they, like they're clear up to the top of the roof, near the glass roof. Oh, I better be careful. Don't want to drop my phone. One big waterfall. It's quite big. And some rainforest plants have to reach for a place in the sun. Now take a good look around the rainforest. You'll see that this pulpit spine um, is is growing everywhere. Yeah, it's probably growing everywhere. Oh, and there's fake thunder as well. I don't, I don't see any real thunder, but. I think they're adding it in for effect. Yep, definitely fake thunder. Okay, so we finished our tour around the Ontario Science Centre and we're about to head on back to the city of Toronto itself on the shuttle bus heading on down to the car park. And yeah, I have a very busy evening planned ahead of me. I'm going to a Toronto Raptors game, uh, which will be in the next Toronto vlog very soon. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for coming on this little tour of the Ontario Science Center with me. And if you like what you just seen, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe today, and turn those notifications on so you don't miss out. And follow me on my Instagram link in the description. And thanks for watching, and I shall see you soon. Bye.